This is Bob Stewart of the State Bureau of Investigation who's been assigned to the Calvert case, a baffling mystery crowded with intrigue. Many people had good reasons to do away with Henry Calvert. For instance, Mrs. Dill, his housekeeper. But she didn't hate Henry, she loved him. Patton, the butler, is a likely suspect. And yet he's apparently tried to help the police. The lawyer, Horace Black, knows much about the deceased man's affairs, perhaps too much. Ruth Allen certainly knows a lot more about the whole affair than she'll tell. Kurt Bennett, the nephew, and his charming wife, Rita, knew Henry's mysterious brother, Walter Calvert. They might be guilty. Sarah Caldwell, the sister of the dead man, is the most bitter of all. She's admitted that she had every reason to plot her brother's death, but Sarah denies that she had any part in a conspiracy. Last but not least, we have the newspaper reporter, Duke Ellis. On second thought, it couldn't be. Now you've met them all. If one of them, just one of them, would tell the truth, I'm sure you'd know who's guilty. Efficient aid of the Mexican police, Bob Stewart has captured Burke. They return with him to the mine office where Burke's assistant, Meeker, had been locked in a closet. Rather than face a murder charge, Meeker desperately plans to blast his way to freedom. Yeah, I killed him. And now I'm going to get rid of the rest of you. What are you looking for? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, how do you know it'll be in if you find it? Why don't you go away? Well, I'll look. I can find something I don't want to. <laughs> Where's Miss Allen? I thought she was here. You can't get far in this country without help. I guess not. I'd like to take a look at that desk before we leave here. By that time, the rest of the cars will be back. Then we can search for her. Uh, could your friend uh, guard our prisoner in the car for a while? Pedro here has hurt himself. Oh, certainly. But it's hot out there. Maybe you can move the car into the shade for you. Oh, thanks. A good idea. Oh, can't go. Just thought of it. Haven't got a gun. <laughs> There you are. Thanks, pal. Don't shoot yourself. I might as well. Everybody else has tried it. I'm hoping to find a clue as to what Walter Calvert had in mind when he left here. A cigarette? Uh, I guess not, but don't get funny. Gee, with these handcuffs and everything, it, it's 
pretty tough. I bet a guy that handles a gun like you could roll me a cigarette without any trouble. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Uh, let me have the makings. Oh, not so fast. I'm a warning you now. One more false move, I'll fill you so full of lead, they won't be able to pick up your remains, partner. Oh, I wouldn't pull anything on you. Well, you better not. Here's something. This is a letter from Henry Calvert to his foreman, Burt. Looks as if they were robbing Walter of his gold. Perhaps Walter discovered that he was being robbed and went north with the idea of killing his brother. Gee, you know how to roll them swell. Well, uh, tobacco's a little dry and it's hard to roll them. Well, you're doing fine. But that's the best cigarette I ever smoked. Oh, when I finish with this, this will be the best cigarette you ever smoked. <laughs> They will. Well, what happened? Don't you know? No. All I can remember, I was rolling a cigarette and the lights went out. We sent Pancho to look for Miss Allen. We can use the truck to follow Burke. Good. But you better leave one of the men here in case Burke decides to come back for anything. Si. Pancho, voy a buscar a Miss Allen, ¿eh? Muy bien, Capitán. Y usted quédese aquí en caso de que regrese el prisionero. Si. Feel any better, kid? I don't know how to live, but I don't know what for. Vamos. Is that side road a shortcut into town? See, si, it is much shorter, but it's rough going. Oh, nothing bothers me anymore, Jose. Let her buck. Jose, you better slow down a little. Okay, Mr. Rough and Ready, you said let her buck. I take it back. I take it back.
Gone clean as a whistle. He won't get very far on foot. Jose and I'll head for town. We've got to locate Miss Allen. Hey, you didn't say anything about me. You and the policeman stay and watch the car. Burke expects us to give up the search for it. If he isn't back in an hour, drive the car into town. But it's hot out here. Oh, go crawl under a bush. Come on, Jose. And don't roll any more cigarettes. to be on the lookout for him. Good. Now if we can find some trace of Miss Allen. Come with me. I told you he was a good man. I never doubted it. At this time, you and I had a little heart-to-heart -heart talk. I have some business at my office. Hasta la vista. Why did you come to Mexico? To find Walter Calvert. What made you think you'd find him here? Well, he wasn't up there at the Calvert place, so I thought he'd be here. Well, did anyone tell you you might find him here? No. Doesn't make sense. The telegram was sent by somebody after you left up there. Take care of girl calling herself Ruth Allen en route there. Signed, Calvert. Do you know who sent this telegram? Certainly. Somebody by the name of Calvert. Very funny. Don't you realize this contains a definite threat? No, not necessarily. It could be instructions for someone to look after me. If so, the instructions were well carried out by the man to whom this was sent. Who was he? Burke. He tried to kill you once, he might try it again. What do you mean, again? I thought he was arrested. He was, but he escaped. I don't know what you hope to accomplish by not confiding in me. Your motives may be above suspicion, but your actions certainly aren't. Which one of the Calverts set this? Why does it have to be Calvert? Anybody could send a wire and sign it that way. Who, for instance? I haven't any idea. Have you any idea why you call yourself Ruth Allen? The best. That's my name. Whoever sent this telegram doesn't seem to think so. You've already demonstrated rather conclusively that he's not to be trusted. Besides, I have only your word that the telegram was ever sent. I don't see why I should trust you any more than you do me. Because your life is in danger, not mine. You were right about Burke. If you hadn't arrived when you did, he would have killed me. Why, because you knew he was robbing Walter Calvert? Well, I suspected it, but... You found proof? I'll tell you all that when uh, you decide to confide in me, Miss... Uh... Allen is the name, but you've got to catch Burke. Why aren't you out looking for him? Jose's taking care of that. Well, perhaps I could help you. Let him see me if he's hiding here. Might work, but I don't want to take a chance on losing you. You've been too hard to find. But if you were around, close by me, to guard me... That gives me an idea. I'll be right back, then we'll go places. Turn out to be. Don't ride me, Bob. I got a blister. 
Find any trace of Burke? I was on his trail, but I got another scent. Oh, but don't think I was scared. I drew my gun, but he got the drop on me. Well, what happened? The drop. <laughs> We ought to do something. It's not time yet. Time? Time for what? That, my friend, we shall see. Sit down, please. You know, the truth is bound to come out sooner or later, even if you try to hide it. What are you talking about? Henry Calvert's death. If you know that Walter had anything to do with it, trying to cover up for him, and only doing more harm than good. But I don't know any more about it than you do, and I'm just as anxious to find out. And you still won't tell me what your interest is? I can't yet, only that my father financed Walter Calvert after Henry had refused to, and then Henry robbed them both. Giving Walter a very good motive to kill Henry. But he didn't, he wouldn't. What makes you so sure? We know what makes you so sure, don't we? And you know who she is, too, don't you? Sure, I do. But I'm not going to tell you. Can't you see she wants it kept a secret? I don't think she'll mind now that she knows who's been robbing Walter Calvert. So you found that out, did you? Now, you're smarter than I thought you were. Too bad it's too late to do me any harm or to do you any good. Get over there. So you had a long trip down here for nothing. Now you're going to take a longer one. You won't get very far, Burke. Wrong again. Nobody saw me coming in, and nobody's going to see me go out. Has Bob allowed Burke to shoot him down without making a move to defend himself? What was the result of the shot we just heard? See what actually happened in the plunge of doom. Chapter 6 of Who's Guilty at this theater next